Hello everyone and welcome back to Butter Bison Plays episode 13 of the Sky 2 PCLP. So uh, last episode we finished chapter 3, we're on chapter 4, haven't done anything between the two, so let's get going. Well, where to next? Why do you not censure me? Censure? Do not pretend like you forgot! I deceived you about my relationship with my father. Are you not angered by my deception? Do you not doubt the validity of my pedigree? Or perhaps you pity me as a pathetic and foolish girl? But do not mock me! My father has provided me with a pampered life, with my own mansion and servants, and Tink for as long as I can remember. Even though I have not yet met him, my father cares an awful lot about me. What more proof do you need? I am... I am Rosalind, Overlord Zenon's only daughter! Monsieur Adele, the princess speaks the truth. After all, I am a demon in this service of Overlord Zenon. I guarantee that the princess really is his daughter. Please, believe her. I'm not mad at you for anything. And I still believe that you're Zenon's daughter. Stop lying! I'm not lying. Fact is, I don't know my parents either. What? I don't pity you, but I do know how you feel. You don't know your parents? You're lying! You have a family! Oh no! Taro and Hanako have been kidnapped! What? Taro and Hanako? Some stupid looking boy in a white cape took Taro and Hanako! But what does he want with our kids? He won't get much money by selling them, so what's the point? Stupid looking and wearing a white cape, huh? Like it's how, gotta be him. No one else is that stupid. I like how that was the thought, like that picture. <laughs> he said, "Come to Dallos River if you want them back." Who is he? Just an idiot. I can't believe that jerk. Is this his way of getting revenge? Sure, we beat the crap out of him, but to endanger Taro and Hanako, I'll never forgive him. Okay. <laughs> Zoom, zoom, zoom. Why are you two still following me? If you don't know where to find Xenon, I don't need you. Don't say such foolish things. It was you who summoned me. Have you forgotten already? You told me yourself that you must sacrifice your life to negate the conditions of the ritual. Or were you planning to die for me? No, that's... Who made the promise to return me to my father? Well, me, but... Then fulfill your promise to me. Take me to my father. So, I'm supposed to be your guide now? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Looks like the circumstances have flipped, Monsieur Adele. The summon, she has backfired. Can anything get worse? You're giving me a headache. What are you waiting for? Taro and Hanako are waiting to be rescued. Okay, so, uh, oh, no range attack, okay, well, doesn't really matter all that much, um, one, two, three, four, okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Over here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna turn off uh, enemy effects, because why even bother keeping them on? Uh, right, over here... Nope. Okay... Yeah, I didn't want it to be limited by no range, because that would be stupid. Baby! And there's that. Okay. Yeah. So I also, uh, I also lowered the enemy difficulty back down to normal. 
Mostly due, uh, mostly because of the grinding and stuff. It just naturally happened that way. But uh, yeah, the people are only supposed to be like level 10-ish at this point. Um, and it's pretty funny uh, because like looking around online, making sure I was doing things about right, it's like, oh yeah, your uh, your team will be about level 100 by the end of the game. And it's like, okay, well I'm a little bit uh, over leveled, you might say. Where did he take them? It is not like you to act so rushed. What do you expect? He kidnapped my little brother and sister. Hmm, just as I thought. What you told me was just a lie. What are you talking about? And now you feign ignorance? You have a family, yet you lied about not knowing your parents. Oh, that. That is the truth. I'm not related to mom and dad by blood. Or Totaro and Hanako either. I was abandoned by my real parents when I was still young. So I don't know who they are. So, you have been risking your life all this time for people who aren't even your family. And now you expect me to believe you? Blood isn't the bond that makes a group of people a family. It's the heart. Is it so weird for someone to risk their life to fight for a family that's bound to his heart? And to think, I have uncles who haven't even talked to each other for 30 years. You are interesting indeed, right, princess? Uh, princess? Being bound by the heart is what matters. Indeed, you are right. Well said. I commend your insight. Thanks, I guess. My bond with my father comes from our heart, not our blood. And that is what makes us a true family as well. Excellent. Now let us find Taro and Hanako. After all, family is an irreplaceable treasure. I never expected to hear a demon utter those words. You say I'm odd. Yeah, so you can tell that uh, this game's uh, theme was more family than anything. Um, for the most part. Uh, there is, like, some slight promise themes, but that's more for Disgaea 4 in terms of, like, major thematic elements. They aren't here either. What is it, princess? Can you go ask Adele about his real parents? Why must you put me on such a dangerous mission when you could ask him yourself? It is a hard thing to ask. He did say that his real parents abandoned him. If it is so hard to ask him, what makes you think it would be better coming from me? Very well. I won't ask you to do anything you don't want to do. So, I order you to ask him. Okay, I will do it. How hard can it be to ask? Monsieur Adele, can you tell me anything more about your artless parents who abandoned you? Tink, I'll kill you. What? That was sudden. Oh, but I am curious, huh? Please, tell me. I love how French he is. Well, I don't really know much myself. I was too young to remember them. All I know is, they were close friends with mom and dad, and they left me with them when I was two years old. All they left for me was a letter that said, you will return as soon as we have fulfilled our duty. I believed that letter when I was a kid. I hoped for the day that they would return, but they never kept their promise. My parents were cowardly liars. When I realized that, I decided to always keep my promises and to never lie. Ah, so that is the reason you are so stubborn about keeping your promises. Parents who abandon their children, I wonder if they intended to abandon him. Whoa, it's a bird. Okay. So we got none, attack 50. Okay, we're looking at pretty standard shit here. Um, nope. Nah, darn it. Okay. Take them out. 
Domination. Actually. Yeah, I might as well take him out with that. And come over here. Do that. And I'm just gonna end it there because Sonic will probably be able to take him out. Yeah, especially if they don't move. Okay. Yeah. Ten movement is very useful. Without a doubt. Adele, about your real parents, do you think it is possible that they were unable to return because of my father's curse? Ah, yes. Perhaps the curse stole their memories and conscience, too, huh? They abandoned me just before Zenon's curse spread throughout the world. They abandoned me because their duty was more important to them than I was. It doesn't matter if it was the curse's fault that they haven't returned. They chose to leave. A duty that is more important than their child. What could that be? I don't know. Mom and Dad don't seem to remember what it was either. Look, can we just stop talking about this? We should concentrate on finding Taro and Hanako. Yeah, so this is uh, Adele's sad backstory episode, and that's about all it is. And you know, it's not e it's like, okay. If you're gonna have to have a backstory for Hero, I guess this is a fine one. how Hanako's hair beads uh, change face based on her emotion as well. Sort of like uh, it. they remind me of uh, the dad's chest head. Yeah. Did you really think it was smart to make him mad? <laughs> Winning this fight doesn't make much difference to my secret plan. I bet it is just a stupid trap. If you came up with it, it must be stupid. Ouch. You brats are mean. I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. You'll learn to fear dark heroes when you suffer so many ding-dong ditches and prank phone calls, you'll never be able to sleep. <laughs> you don't scare me. My big brother is really strong, and you'll be sorry when he gets here. My big brother is going to defeat Overlord Xenon. Huh? He's going to try to beat Overlord Xenon? Isn't that kind of delusional? I know what I'm going to do, too. Overlord Zenon's daughter is gonna make me her servant. Tardo, you really want to be Rosie's servant? That's stupid. Why is that stupid? Princess is amazing and, and sweet and pretty and wow. Stop! If you have to fight, I'll referee. But once you're done, you better both shut up, okay? Oh, Axel, darling, sorry I'm late. I brought snacks for everybody. Ah, Tardo, I call the Metopia chocolate bar. It's my favorite. Gimme, gimme. That's not fair. That's my favorite, too. Shut up. If you both want it, physical violence is the only way to solve this. Did you hear that, Tardo? You want to fight me? No way. I can't beat you. You're too mean. Take the Metopia chocolate bar. Living with demons is tough. <laughs> Thank you, Tardo. That's more like it. This is just like watching those old sibling rivalry films in high school. <laughs> hmm. I don't see 
them here either. That Axel is a cur. When I find him, I will make him truly suffer. Kidnapping young children is beyond outrageous. Such an indecency cannot be forgiven. Wait a minute. Why are you so angry? Isn't kidnapping kids as common a chore for demons as doing laundry? Let's just say the princess has lived a very sheltered life, huh? Besides, she has never done laundry either. You both have no clue what you're talking about. Taro and Hanako are my servants. I cannot abide someone stealing them. When the hell did my brother and sister become your servants? Huh. I guess you really are different from most other demons. I thought all demons were the same, but I can see that's not true. Hello, kitty cat. Uh, okay, so another thing that I wanted to, well, one, <laughs> um, really puts into perspective, like, how not, <laughs> like, <laughs> Axel barely did anything. Like, he quite literally just was like, hey kids, want some candy? <laughs> and th they were just like, yeah, yeah, you know what, okay, we want, we would like some candy. We'll go with you. Like, it wasn't even kidnapping. <laughs> Like, it really puts into perspective just, like, how pointless this entire quest is. Because it's like, yeah, chances are Adele will get him back just because of the fact that <laughs> Axel didn't really even care all that much. And I do like how uh, the director is just, like, super friendly. He's like, hey, I got, I got all the shit for you, kids. Um... Yeah, so I'm 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 liking this. But uh, another thing that I uh, meant to uh, talk about was the felonies. So previously I had said 99 felonies was the max. Uh, 99 felonies is the max amount that the uh, face picture will show, but you can get up to 300. That's uh, that's the max amount. So you'll be able to get 300% um, XP, well bonus XP. Um, if you do that, uh, I just figured I had to, uh, rectify that mistake in, uh, knowledge. Uh, because it says 7 felony, but there's only 2 po points, so it can only get up to 99. But you can have, uh, over 300, or you can have 300. Over 300 doesn't really matter. Um, because 300 is the max amount, uh, it will give you as bonus. Um... Okay. I am curious as to, um... Not darn. I was gonna check to see if, uh, Gig magic changing with, uh, Adele actually was stronger than his sword. <laughs> Drinking that milk. sitting home <laughs> there's a little problem with sending it now I'm sorry what it's me Axel can't you tell from my voice what no I'm not dead that was a mistake it's all part of some conspiracy with the TV network I'm telling you the truth ma don't you trust me fine I'll be back on TV soon then you'll see that I'm still alive so just Keep watching TV, okay? Just wait and see, Ma. I'll be even more famous when I return. Axel being the good son that he actually is. Um, yeah, so I wanted to uh, clear up that mistake in knowledge. And I might do some more uh, subpoena grinding. Uh between episodes because that won't get me a whole bunch of levels it'll just be bonus xp but that's to be decided Taro, Hanako. yeah it's adele yippee oh princess you came to rescue me <laughs> welcome to my new show i admire your courage for coming here suckers you had to know this was a trap so, if you want the brats unharmed, just hand the princess over to me. 
and uh, then you have to let me beat you up. <laughs> huh. What's your scheme? You're the one with the scheme. I see how you're plotting to use the princess as a hostage so you can defeat Overlord Xenon. But I will put an end to your plans. Once I've rescued the Overlord's daughter, I'll be back in the spotlight. The entire universe will witness my victory. It'll spark my glorious comeback. So, ready to fight fair? But remember, I won't be responsible for what happens to those brats if you don't let me beat you up. Then how the hell is this a fair fight? What if we refuse, huh? What if we throw you out like garbage in front of the entire universe? How will you come back from that? <laughs> That's what my secret plan is for. Even if I lose, I can use the latest special effect technology to edit the footage. No matter how badly I lose or how much I beg for my life, I can fix it all in post. I'll have the greatest victory scene ever. <laughs> what do you know? My cunning trap had such a great twist that you're all lost for words. No, we just don't want to waste our breath. I shall grant you no mercy. Kidnapping innocent children just to get attention is unforgivable. I shall cleanse the world of you myself. Huh? Why are you so angry? I'm trying to rescue you, you know? I do not need to be rescued. I am here of my own free will. I am no one's hostage. What the hell? Aren't princesses supposed to wait for their knight in shining armor to rescue them whenever they get captured? You idiot! That only happens in your feeble imagination. Then what are we gonna do for my show? There has been a change of plan. How does series finale Axel dies rising in pain sound to you? <laughs> but that's not how I want my series to end! Can I at least have a happy ending? Sorry, we're all out of happy endings today. We only have ones that end with horrible beatings. Just remember, every punch is for Taro and Hanako. <laughs> They're literally right down there. Pretty, pretty safe and happy. Ah, yes. No entry tiles. Man. See, it's funny because they're like, oh, come here. One, two, three, four. You can get someone to kill this, but then you're kind of stuck over there. But you know what I can do? Um, going to... Boop. And then... There... And there, 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 lift the gig, lift the dough, lift Oslin, lift Hanako. There you go. Right through it. And over there. Right there. Hello. Hello there. Ah, oh, this invincibility. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, they poisoned me. That's not good. do need to actually do is I do need to throw someone over there just so they can uh, um, go kill those blocks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Come over there. Come over here. Okay. 
that. Okay. How useful that they actively move out when they really don't need to. Um, I'm gonna magic change for the Dell. Demon Blast. It's a one. Heavenly Hammer. Yeah. Hello there. Um. Okay. And gonna turn on ally effects just for the sake of looking at this. Oh, I've already seen Heavenly Hammer. I just didn't remember it. I actually think it was weaker then. I forgot to check the actual stats. Um. Okay. Looks like I didn't act. Oh yeah, that's a lot weaker. Holy shit. But. Whatever. Just use that. And that should be it. Wow. This is cool. A oh, sword that turns into a scythe. That's... I like that. That's a really cool attack. Hey! I get it now! The princess was brainwashed by a secret society! And only I can free her from the vicious tigress they turned her into. Are you still making stuff up? Get over it already. <laughs> you can't fool me. You probably use some futuristic device on her, like when you mutilate cattle. Stop it, Mr. Stupid Head! Adele didn't do anything like that! Adele fights fairly! He doesn't mean stupid tricks like you! You didn't do anything, Axel. Taro is an idiot. <laughs> it's time for the news. Today we're focusing on the latest Netherworld hotspot, the countryside world, Veldheim. The land is rich with nature's beauty. Among the attractions is the Dallas River, which flows throughout the major continent. We go there live via satellite with our field reporter, Sammy. This is Sammy reporting live from Veldheim. Although the river looks calm, the currents are fast. Children can easily be swept away. From my location, the river flows into the Cavern of Evil, a dangerous cave from which no one has ever returned alive. Way to reuse assets, guys. Watching people drown in the river is the most fun you can find for free in Veldheim. It's a good satellite. <laughs> if you can pick up sound. That's all from Veldheim. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sammy. For a second there, I thought I saw Axel in the background. But he was savagely murdered by tribesmen. Literally, he's just there. He's right there. It must have been an impersonator. <laughs> Axel impersonators? The universe is going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Play 
ですね。Stay tuned for the ever popular decapitating fortune telling with Pram the Oracle right after this commercial break. Hey, she's on my team. This broadcast was delayed by 40 minutes due to the Netherworld Baseball Classic game going into extra innings. A baseball game? Wasn't that big brother? He's still alive! Different voices. Don't be foolish now. You know Axel is dead. They even said so on the news. Yeah, for some reason they decided to make these guys super southern. <laughs> and that prank call we got earlier? Where do people get it in their heads to further depress a mother who lost her son? But that really looked like Big Brother. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> Because there was also like a four year difference between the, uh, before the regular Disguy 2 and uh, Dark Hero days, so that's also a reason as to why it's so different. Forced her way into your group. <laughs> Thanks to Tardo's clumsiness, I got to join Adele's group. Now I'll always be at Adele's side. Thank you, Tara. I owe you big. What are you waiting for, Hanako? Th this wasn't supposed to happen. I, I, I just wanted to. Episode 5, The Promise. Dear God, please protect Taro and Hanako. Why is a demon praying to God? Besides, Adele is there to protect them. I guess you're right, honey. Adele can protect them. While you were out praying, have you remembered anything about Adele's parents? Um, no, I don't remember anything about them. Mm, me neither. But I do vaguely remember their faces. Okay. Oof. God. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here because, um, yeah, because it's been a while. Um, and you can see Hanako is actually a monster in this form, whereas, uh, when she's a demon lord, she is more human and can use human weapons. So that's interesting. Um, yeah. So, hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Bye!